But 95 became a very pivotal year for me because the treatments were still going on. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I actively started playing the piano. I sat down and I sat, I played, I was like, I'm gonna play this instrument. And guess which is the first song that I taught myself how to play? There's a group called Brownstone. Ooh, tell me why. Not even tell me why. There's another one that had, you see, roots, reggae thing. But the chords here, the harmony was very nice and flowery. Mm. So I was like, if I could play that, what even I didn't really didn't know is that when you're playing the piano, the first foundation that we are taught on piano is the key of C. Yep. But this one is on, on D flat. So I'm already starting to play songs on, on keys that come later when you're playing. So I just realized that I instinctively knew. knew. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. So I'd play, and I guess also because there was a keyboard at home, so I kind of knew my way around a, 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 a keyboard. So I started playing that song. So I, I was like, if I can teach myself how to play this song. So anytime I'd, uh, 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 that song would appear, it would come, would be played on radio, I'd sit down and play and copy it, you know? And so 90, 1995 became the, when I started playing piano. But I was still a drummer. Yeah, in fact, I was going to ask you, you see that song that you've talked? Yeah. The, it's, it's like your left hand and your right hand are doing uh, different things, is it? Because of playing drums. E exactly, I was going to say because of the drums. So the coordination and, and, and the independence had, had already been established because of playing drums. So I could do, do different things with my hands. And but now what I, could ha what I needed to translate that, so as soon as you're playing drums, it's your entire hand. But now I need to do that now with my fingers. Oh. But, le but my fingers is a graft. So it ended up becoming my exercises. To start ah man you can't make start, that up yeah to start making this hand work again because even even i usually say up till now that this hand is like quite behind with than this one because there's there some things uh, even up till now that i'm and I, i'm unable to do because it's not as strong because that could completely change this arm mm. this hand yeah so it ended up coming my so even when the doctors found out that i'm playing the piano they're like wonderful yeah keep keep doing it because now it will help your fingers start moving again. Because the other problem is that with grafting, you can end up becoming stiff. So where you pick hands. I've seen people who, who are able to have... Mm -hmm. not. So piano actually helped me start, the fingers start moving. So, I, so for me, I find that the piano is actually, it was a, a, a healing exercise. Yeah, is not it only, physiotherapy? Not, yeah, physiotherapy. Yes, yes. It ended up not only healing me in, in terms of... Mental. Mentally and emotionally, but even phys, 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 uh, the physio, the physiotherapy, as you say. Yep. So it became my physiotherapy uh, uh, instrument. Because you know you can do those yep. weights and yeah. I've, I've got this question, this slight return. Yes. On the drums, the, would, um, is it anybody who can play the drums or do you have to have a skill? Uh, that thing of playing the leg moving differently from the hand. That's the a right good question. Hand, you get. And I think it's a question that is that people ask in terms of all instruments. Mm. They, you can have an innate ability where you're kind of prodigious, where you don't you just know how to do it. It's just yep. a gift. But you can have that propensity to do it. So you're not okay. really as advanced, but you've got a thing that, that is in there. The more you practice, the, the, yeah, the more you become okay. good. So that, that's, that's, I think that's, that's it, with, with, even with drums. You may have that innate thing where you just instinctively know what to do. And then there are those ones where you have to teach yourself and the more you keep on doing it, it's so muscle memory, so now you become a good drummer. Mm. So, so musicians have that, that thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think even it's with art, because even in my art class, there was this guy who just had it and he made us look so bad, man. <laughs> so when you're doing the still life dra drawings, the guy will just <laughs> like a picture. <laughs> so you're looking at what you've drawn, what this guy, what this guy's doing, you're like, uh, that's unfair, you know. Okay. So, 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 and, and and I think I was like that even in my in my in my in my class, because mm. now the, we started doing. Um, was uh, piano subject in by the? No, no. Music I, was the option. It, of music. Yeah, music was a, was was a subject, but there were no piano lessons. Okay. There was no there was no formal training on an instrument. Okay. So it was just like like general knowledge music. You do history of Western music. Uh, uh, and then you, you start learning theory. So you do those orals, they used to say, mm. where they play rhythms. And man, I, could ju I was just acing them because I had that, in, that innate ability. And those little classes that I'd done for piano, 
started helping me because now the oral classes they play this thing this beat and you're supposed to translate it into notes mm -hmm. so i just knew where to because i'd hear it and just in fact the first thing which was which which sometimes like hey that was a that was a, i'm like thank you god for that skill i'd hear it and immediately i start dividing the bars <laughs> and then put the notes inside that's yeah. crazy so um but then now the, the piano things started coming in okay slowly and then the nairobi Baptist shows uh, the concerts at the end of the years became so big, like it became like the thing that churches have to go for to listen to these guys. That's when you find um, who is in Nairobi Baptist that time, the Pits. Okay, now Pete Odera was there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Sally. No, no, even Sally Oyege was not there. At that okay, time. whoa. Uh, I don't know if she had left, she'd gone to the US. I, 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 I don't remember, I don't, I don't recall. But even Pete was not even active at that time, because you know, because of his, oh, his yes. stuff. So that the, his relationship with the church, mm. uh, it, was, it was, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was icy. I think you yeah. said that it was. Yeah, it, it, yeah, Pete, the fact that he doesn't, ha he doesn't carry. I, I bet he he carries, but he's been graceful. Like yeah. you know what? It was what it is. So um, uh, Emmanuel Bevy was mm. the one who was who was running those big concerts at that time. So now it would attract musicians from all the churches to at, at least I can play the band. In that band, it became like the band that you have. So Nairobi Baptist, let me put it this way, has also bred so many Kenyan yep. musicians. Yep. Like that little, that, that the star chart right yep. there, that Bethel. piano, Bethel. Mm. So many people have passed through there that are ended up becoming like such great musicians. So, so that's, that, that, that ended up becoming like the place to go and see the concert. So uh, Kaima started playing there. So it became like if you're a pianist and you're asked to go play there, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, you are the dawn, you know, like, like, you know, so it's like, you want to come to Nairobi Baptist, you know, because now he had finished high school, now him was transitioning to college. Mm. And, and then there was this in between time. You remember yep, this time? Like, there's there a gap year, like a year and a half of just <laughs> doing whatever. Bam. <laughs> Bam. That's the right word. I couldn't, I couldn't have said it better. Just, just chill. <laughs> just do nothing and chill. There's no rent, there's nothing. Just chill, just do nothing. Yep. You know? And, and, and you imagine you're chilling and you're like 18, 19, yep. you know? Like, so. So now all the musicians started congregating at, at, at Nairobi Baptist. Mm. But now 1995, there's other musicians that are still in Nairobi school who are still now getting into, in, into, into, into um, fourth form. Fourth form, in fourth form. But then some of the musicians in, uh, sorry, Okina Kaima, go do IB. Mm -hmm. Transition to IB, International Baccalaureate. Uh, in, St. Mary's. In, in St. Mary's. And St. Mary's, you know, St. Mary's and the musicals, Oh man, like that, that now became the other level. I remember I went for a Saints musical and they played the anthem. No, we used to play it, we used to play it well in patch. Mm. But this one has violin, viola. Which school in Kenya has a viola? <laughs> second violin. Like, that's amazing. I'm like, second violin? Really? And Mr. William Obaga, his brother, yep. Andrew Obaga, taught me music. But then people would say, like, William is the dawn. Because mm. he's the guy who's, uh, who's doing the music thing in St. Mary's. They played the national anthem. Now, let me give you a, some musical theory about the national anthem. The national anthem is the key of C. Many times what you hear in, 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 in functions, they play just the first stanza. Mm. Now, the third stanza, instead of ending on A minor, it's supposed to end on a major chord. It mm. changes the vibe. Mm. That's the first time that I had it played on a major chord. And my hair's just... <laughs> I'm like, what if these guys just died? I'm like, well, and that's the, what they play at the Olympics. Have you wondered why mm -hmm. the Olympics mm -hmm. that is just like, what the hell? Is, how, that, that ending is so, you feel like, I am a Kenya. <laughs> mm. Kenya, you know? So that's the first time I had that version. I never had it before. Mm. And then, now Kaima and all these guys have transitioned in, into, into St. Mary's. And what people don't know about Kaima, he actually used to play bass. Mm, and mm. he's playing the double bass mm. in, in St. Mary's. Yep. So he's not only a piano player, but he's... I, I remember I did a concert yeah. at Moapi and you and Kaima came. It was the weirdest thing because you were on drums and, and you were on bass. bass. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, <laughs> like come on guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> you thought we were kidding and we played. Yeah, yeah so, so, and that's, that, that's when now my music 
palette completely started changing. And is Air Force in the picture, man? Now you're like. Uh, let me let me give you a story about Air Force. In high school, uh, form two was good. Then uh, in form three, there was another thing called calculus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> tangents <laughs> and that's where it left <laughs> the it dream died it became apparent <laughs> to me <laughs> that uh, I think this <laughs> this piloting thing is not for everyone it's not for everyone <laughs> it may just not work <laughs> no <Nah>. so, <laughs> So let's start thinking of other things that I can do, probably. Mm. So it just that's get it. It, it, it died a natural death. I, I, I could. I, it was so clear to me. Like, yeah. Nah, 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 like uh, that thing has its own thing. I'm like, this is exactly what I'll be, I'll be living here to go to go and study to be a pilot. Because uh, no. because 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 you know, actually later I realized that the way math was taught to me. Because uh, because there, there, there's a way our the left brain like right brain mm. there are those who understand science in an artistic way yep and there are those who understand art in a scientific yep. way yep so I think I understand I, I later realized I, I wish science was taught to me in, a, an, artistic in an artistic way, way. me too because you know when they do these things I'm like so why should I find a you know like find a <laughs> why 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 <laughs> find a why <laughs> And then plot a graph. Why should I plot a graph? You know, I was talking to a friend of mine, the lazy aside. You remember in high school, when you're doing that KCSE exam, <laughs> maths paper two, people need to go for serious counseling because of maths paper two. <laughs> Do you agree, Mugash? Yeah. The way, even the way they set it up, you know, the way that, first, as you're doing cases, there's that cop with a gun out of there in case you, you, that AP. So already there's tension. I'm like, you know, when you're doing an exam, you should make me feel good as I'm walking in, you know. So there's this, this cop, and then you engage, so there's, there's social distancing. Remember those days, there's already social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> There's already social distancing <laughs> in the in the desks, you know. So and then the, the, those those guys will come with a with a very blank face. The paper is removed and then they come and put it on your case, your desk. Sorry, and then they give you a graph paper, and then now they tell you you may begin. Then you open the paper, and you see the first question, and it's just a very simple question. But then I'm like, you're making it so complicated for me. I think that's why I didn't become a pilot. Like, it says something like, uh, Richard has got four eggs, G Mugash has whatever, he, he, he bought, plot a graph. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> why should I plot a graph, man? I'm like, why should I, why? Why should I plot a graph? So just give me the eggs and I just go there. <laughs> Why should I blow the ground? Why? So that so so my math and physics. Ah. So that that story died. So I, I started focusing more on the music yeah. and then and the art. Mm. So by and piano and piano. Mm. No, your piano had come in, but not quite yet. Okay, okay. So I've got this very interesting story. So even in '95. After even that first time I played the piano, the, 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 I stopped because I, cause I really liked the drums. So I still mm. stuck with the drums up till 1996. Was there a band in the school? Yeah. And were I, you in the band? In the, in the band. Playing drums. Playing drums. Jacob Basio has this story. Because you know Nairobi school has got this hierarchy. Mm. And by the way, Jacob Basio, you went to later on. Yeah, now 1995. Yeah. <laughs> 1995, he was in Form 4. And he was playing those R&B boys to mend tunes on the piano. I was like, this guy... Oh man, Jacob! Jacob is a is a ridiculous piano player. Him and Kaima, uh, man, those those are. And of course, Zach. Mm -hmm. you no, know? so but Zach, I didn't interact with him as much. But these two guys, those actually those three, mm -hmm. Zach Amunga, uh, Jacob Basio, and Kaima Mwiti are. And then of course now, in terms of piano heritage, the dawn for piano playing here is Jack, Jack Odongo. Jack is, he, he's, the, he's, the, he's the one who started it. He knew how to play. He had, he had the language, gospel music. 
he knew what to do. In 1996, Ron Kenoli came to Kenya. Yep. Guess who was the pianist? It's Jack Odongo. No way. Yeah. So all those songs that I was listening to, I was in Form 3. We went to the stadium and with Kaima was there. We were all there shaking our heads. But we were disappointed because he didn't come with the badge. It was like Half-Life. Mm, That's the first mm. time this idea of playing uh, Half-Life <laughs> half -life stuff or playing through tracks, you know. Um... Uh, and then that's the time I'm like, but his tracks sound so good. Little Dido is using those those ADATs. Yeah. Remember the ADATs? Yeah. Uh, an ADAT is a digital audio tape uh, that 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 transmits music in a digital way. But it's anyway, just Google. So, <laughs> um, uh, so, so at that time, piano not yet. Mm. I was starting to get into it, but not fully into the piano. Yep. And let me tell you how this piano thing just landed on my lap. Sometime in 1996, because now 95, 96, now I was in between high school because I was still doing treatments. Mm. Let me tell you, the treatments go, went on for like, yeah. like, like almost three years. Yo. You know, every, what, so I was in and board, sometimes I was boarding, sometimes I was a day scholar. Mm. Thank, thank God for the administration because Nairobi school is strictly a boarding school. But then sometimes they'd give leeway, leeway yeah. you know. Because they're like, there's no point of this guy starting to go look for another school. So let him continue as long as he makes time for the classes and does what he has to do. Uh, so I, one thing that I regret a lot in high school, not regret, but I was unable to do is get into sports. Because I was basically unable mm. to. So I didn't do a lot of sporting events. And I feel like there's a part of me that missed. Mm. You know, you don't have to be like a, a career sports person, but involved in, yep. in that. I do a bit of athletics, but not really, like running mm. 800 meters. So, mm. I, like, if I pushed it, probably I could have. But anyway, um, in 1996, I was in Form 3. Uh, uh, there's, uh, one Saturday, I went for a rehearsal at Lavington Church for the worship team. And I, for some reason, I don't know who was playing piano. They didn't have a pianist. But they knew that I'd already been teaching myself how to play piano. So I'd use those hymns, I started teaching myself how to read music. Yo. Yeah. So I'd been teaching myself. So even the music that I know how to read charts, I actually did teach myself how to read music. Uh, there's a time I had a brief, some brief classes with a gentleman who's called Tom Mongare, who was, who was actually the first teacher at Arcadia. Mm. Then now, six years or seven years later, I went and asked him, can you show me how to? So I did a few classes with him because I wanted to really get into the piano thing. But I was still actively a drummer. I mm. even didn't consider myself a pianist. Mm. But then this, um, this weekend, um, I was playing, but I was getting frustrated. I'm like, this piano thing is not as easy as I thought. <laughs> it's not as easy. It's, it's, it takes work. Piano, it's, it, you need to really dedicate yourself to it. So there's no, pia there's no pianist. So they found me practicing because I got there early. Because now the keyboard that we had was small, but I want, and then now I've been, I'm hooked, I'm used to the pianos in, in school, in, in school mm. which are the real deal, 88. Some of them even, the, the Nairobi school had a grand piano in the music room. I think it was like a Steinway, like uh, top of the, like a real deal piano. So, I'm, so now the keyboards now are not yep. ex, as exciting. So I'd go and practice at the up, very nice upright piano in Lavington United Church. And I still think it's there. So I'd go and play. These guys come and find me and they're like, okay, Aaron, I think you'll play the pianos for tomorrow's service. I looked at them and I'm like, are you guys kidding? <laughs> I don't play. In fact, I came to wait for you guys so I can play drums. They're like, oh, you don't, we don't have Nini. And that time I don't know what was wrong with the keyboard. They're not bought a, 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 a good keyboard. So, so I asked them, I just said, so what song are you gonna, are we, are you gonna play? They said this one and the Reverend Adolwa, Who's the, uh, mm, mm, mm. I, that's that's my guy. Uh, he's I've known him since. He's, he's even, been there that long. Yeah, and even during my accident, he was one of the people who came. He's, he's like around ten years older than me, so mm. he's someone that I worked with for a while. So I, he was leading. I think he was the one who was leading the service. So I asked him. Hey, I tell him I don't know how to do this day. I'm not really a piano player. I asked Kaima. I was like, Kaima is not available. Something. I think he was in high, he was in Saints, he was, mm, he was not pianist. He was not available, yeah. So he tells me, I tell him, I can't play, I don't know. Then he, tell, he does something that is extraordinary. He puts his hand on, on my shoulder and with someone else, I can't remember who it was, they just prayed for me. They're like, God help him to play. So that tomorrow's service, it'll be a good service and he'll want, they just prayed. 
Yo. Yeah. The next day, I played. <laughs> Kabisa, so, so part of my piano playing is partly miraculous. Because I just, it, I was, it just figured out. It just came to me. I knew, but it just made mm -hmm. sense. I just, that the next day I sat down and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's powerful. Part of yeah. your piano playing is miraculous. Yep. God just hooked it up. That, I, I don't take credit. I, 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 it'd be a shame for me to say, that, yeah, like, you know, I went to school. I know. <laughs> no, no, that is, that's, God just hooked me up. You know, and it's his grace. Because I think I was going through stuff like let this thing. God has His ways. Mm. So yeah. So He they put their hands on me and they prayed for me and I played. Did you now start playing regularly after that? Yeah. Now was, I started was, playing regularly. Was that now? Uh... And then now in high school, they're like, this guy can play. But let me give you a story about high school and drums. Mm. The, the patch band has you play side drums and then there's like a, like, like a marching band. Mm. So now there's the hierarchy, what I was saying before about hierarchy, about being second form, and now Jacob Asio is, is in fourth form. And he also used to play the drums, the side drum. He's pretty good drummer. So now um, there's this, this rivalry, because I was really good at it. So but now I'm in form 20, form 4, so it kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> One day on the interview, I've asked him about this story, how I, how I settled this thing so well that mm -hmm. he could not ever talk to me again so this is what i did because uh, I, I i couldn't play because i think he, he thought that those days in nairobi school we used to call it he's shining mm. he's shining too this guy this guy is just shining too much so uh god was so merciful to me <laughs> one nairobi school, the london church youth came to do a service at nairobi school ah uh. So I got wind from my dad. This time he, my dad came to, I don't know what he was doing, but he, he, I don't know, I was a disc scholar, yeah. So he told me, so I found out, I was a disc scholar, so he told me, you know, these guys are coming next week to Nairobi school. So I was like, came short. I was like, put my drum kit there. These guys don't play drums. Oh. They play side drums. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, during the Sunday service, the Sunday chapel service, I set up my drums and I sat down and played. <laughs> and I told all those from fours, you see here, this, this is how it's done. You guys are just marching man. I can, I am the real drummer. I can play this. I can play this thing. I, I am the drummer. Yep. Let me tell you, at the end of the service, those guys. First of all, they were in absolute shock. Yep. Because now, even, even even to the point where even I stopped playing drums, I'm like, now I'm not even your lead. <laughs> don't give me that drum. I'll concentrate on the piano. <laughs> I don't need your drums. So many times, like, are you available to add uh, no, no. <laughs> I don't play the drums. <laughs> where you tighten it with skins. No, no, no. no. We, t we tighten drums with, with tuning key. Not, not, not some string skins on the side. And someone holding for you. No, you've got stand, you've got hardware. We use hardware for drums. Not someone saying. Mm. Oh, so, <laughs> okay. so, 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 in 1996 is when um, that the piano thing just made sense. Yeah. And uh, I started getting now into a lot of gospel music. Dave, David Courier, mm. actually, is the one who really he had got a whole catalog of music. And he's the one who I, I'd go and hang out because he was, he was a year, we were the same age, but he was a year ahead. Mm. Him and Chris Adwar, we are yep. all born the same year, but they were both, for some reason, they were both, I think they started school early. Mm. But 96, they were in fourth form, and I was in third form, and they had this, especially Dave Curry had this huge catalog of uh, gospel music. And that's when I actually started getting to hang out with Chris Adwar. Because mm -hmm. Chris, I met him in, he was, no, actually I met Chris when he was in second form. I was in form one. So Chris used to wear these two small shorts and he had another hairstyle <laughs> that was like, his hair used to start from here. Punk. I don't want to tell it, punk. <laughs> so and he used to, I used to find him playing... Keys. Keys, yeah. 
Uh, but then now, in later, that's when he got into the band, and he ended up being a band leader, and he was playing the trombone. What? Chris is, uh, I think, he could be one of Kenya's finest horn players, the trombone. Even I keep on telling him, please, don't throw that thing away. Moi is what he's torn on the trumpet. No, we know Moi is a hotel. Mm. I can make Moi, uh, it's later that I was like, oh, this guy also plays piano, I guess, because of that piano thing. But I, I knew him as a trumpet player. Moi plays such good trumpet, man. And, and Patch exposed you to a lot of instruments, eh? Because they're there. So even when you're doing that Western music, see the Mr. Obama will just chuck the thing like this is how it's tuned. So I learned how the B flat, all these things, how they're tuned. Okay, let's transition out of out of high school. Out of high school because another big thing enters. So what happens? So if do you have from four? Okay, so I do my form four, and that's 1997. Oh, but let me please note at this time you've not been in a studio. Not yet. Okay. So 1997 happens, and that's when we finish for form, and then now. Uh, 